But Twitter. Phil Vickery has got... If I was somebody bought me one of these burgers, I think I would <laughs> have died and gone to heaven. <laughs> burger masterclass now from it's Phil. It's a big it is, burger. Yeah. Here it is, look at that. Look at that, desperate damn now, burger. Th I'm quite a, a purist when it comes to burgers. I don't like the... For instance, Emily, I don't like the soft brioche buns. No, too no. rubbish. And when you eat them, they almost stick to your yeah. roof of your rubbish. mouth. Yeah. So it's very simple. Get that. Almost uh, claggy. Mm, mm. Exactly. Now, first thing to talk about is meat. Now, my butcher and I, Simon, work very closely together and we love it. We love burgers and he makes his with chuck steak, which is braising steak. Chuck steak, four in the animal, and it's 20% fat. Between 50 and 20% fat is what so you're it's after. It's juicy. Why? Because you exactly. juicy. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like eating sawdust. Yeah. Mm. He mills it on. Uh, he minces it. This is my subject. Okay. Do you know you're okay, right? Thank you're you right. So, how many times do you stay here and eat a gherkin? We, we actually mince this twice, Simon. Pound it. Pound your quarter pound. pound OK, right, yeah. Say. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So an eight-mil plate and then remix it on a five-mil plate, which is the mincing plate, and you get you want a patty consistency. What a lot of chefs don't do is mix them up. What you want is a patty consistency. And you don't want that breaking up, crumbling. No, no otherwise it's like sawdust. I, I do sometimes put just a little sawdust, bit... Sawdust, innit? A bit of sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a bit of breadcrumb. Just, just soak up <laughs> a little bit of a fat. There's always one in there. Now, what I don't do is I don't season the meat here. You season the outside of the patty before you cook it because, as he says, my butcher, it draws out the moisture and toughens the protein. So, I've got to get a bit of move on here. I reckon around about 80 grams. So here, here's a bit of... In it goes, into a, a ring like this, or you can have one of these very trendy burger presses, it's up to you. Mm -hmm. And just want to press that out. Now, the secret to me is, a bit of wax paper, you press it right to the edge, and it should be a thin patty. I spent a lot of time in America cooking, and what they have is a, is a thin patty like this. Mm -hmm. Now, what you then do is turn it over, and you get a nice... Nice patty like that. See that there? But when you go to all those gourmet places, yep. they do those big thick burgers, don't they? Is that what you consider a burger, a thin one then? Yeah, I think this is a patty, a patty yeah. burger. In it goes. I'd want two of those. Hang on, You're there's three, Eamon, there's three. Let me yeah. wash my hands and then we, we'll come on to that. Now, that's that. Onion rings, which I, uh, I love in my um, yeah. burgers as well. Very simple. So here I've got self in flour, mm. a little bit of paprika, a bit of colour, onion rings. Just sliced across, so they're nice and thick, and milk. So what you do, onion rings go into the flour, OK, like that, mm -hmm. straight into the milk, and then back into the flour. OK. OK, like that. You can, you can coat them twice if you want, but you'll end up with this lovely coating, a very light, crispy coating. There we are. Mm -hmm. yep. And they just go straight into the fryer, like so. Now, you, if you coat them twice, you end up with a thicker coating. It's not a batter, it's a coating. Coat them twice as in lift them out, let them dry and then put them back in again? Yes, but, but also, if you, if you want onion rings to serve with a steak, for instance, they've got to be slightly crunchy, but if a sandwich like this essentially is, they need to break up. And I'll, I'll give you a little taste in okay. a second. Now, these cook in very, very, very quickly indeed, as you can see. Yeah. Look at that. Look yep, at that, yeah. OK? Mm. Now... When you just leave them to rest slightly, and what happens is the inside steam cooks the onion. Yeah. Okay. But what you want to do is a bit of crunch. So, there's when some it... of your supermarket deals there if you fancy cooking now, for your dad at the weekend. These are the ones I cooked earlier, and I'll show you this. So, this we cooked, and it, you can see how juicy they still are on there, look. And you cook a couple of minutes each side mm -hmm. like that. But what you're after is this thin patty, you're not after a big chunk. So, here we go, Eamon. Now, you see, that is that good. I know you're going to garnish this yeah, beautifully, on, but you could even have that simply done. Yes, I you could. enjoy that very simply like yes. that. Yes. The original burger chain, yeah. we know they are, 1958, when they mm -hmm. did their first burger, mm -hmm. that's what it was. It was a bun, a patty, a bit of cheese mm -hmm. and a lid. And even with a drink of fries, it's only 250 uh, calories. The equivalent now is about 1,700. So but we're not worried about that. So, do you do, can I just say, you, you like the plastic cheese? I like the plastic cheese. Oh, no, I don't. That's why you'd lose me now. I'd have to change. No, but you can make it. I is can make plastic cheese. No, 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 no. I can make <laughs> plastic cheese. It looks so shiny. OK, then another right. burger, and I'm going to put this burger on. We'll go to a recap. Nice. And right. then we'll come back. We're building a burger here, folks. <laughs> don't go away. Mix the mince with the breadcrumbs. Mold into even-sized patties and season well with salt and pepper. Place the burgers into an oiled pan and cook for approximately three to four minutes on each side or to your liking. Mix the self raising flour and paprika and season with salt and freshly ground black pepper. Dip the onion rings into the flour, then into the milk and back into the flour. You can double coat if you want. Heat the vegetable oil to 180 degrees centigrade and fry the onion rings in small batches, then season well with salt. Once the burgers are cooked, it's time to stack them high. Triple layer the burgers with cheese, bacon, pickles, onion rings and relish. 
and then just dig in. And the onion rings on top, a little bit of relish <laughs> goes in the centre like so. I'm going to just press it down slightly yeah. and there's, I'm going to pop it over there. There's only one person in this room that could actually bite into that. <laughs> right, and what I'm going to do is... And you know who that. you are, Ruth. <laughs> Cut that in half. Eamon, if you yeah. can just cut that through there with a the knife. I could. Eamon, you could have a taste. But what, my mouth couldn't God. get round that. That's... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Go on, just the cut sauces. Through. Look okay. at that, Eamon. Now, I look quite like using a burger with a knife and fork, personally, ah. but there we are. Look at that. Eamon, that's for you. You like a burger with a knife and fork? Well, otherwise it goes mm. whatever it is, doesn't it? Oh, look at and that. And you can pick and choose what you like then, Eamon, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Right, there you go. go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Shall I hold your stick for you, Eamon? Yeah, hold, <laughs> maybe hold your stick. Make them off balance. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, really I'll, I'll hold you up. <laughs> oh, for God. That is indecent. Listen, if you don't feel indecent, like cooking, very nice. for your dad, um, we have got some gift ideas. If you've left it slightly late, don't yes. worry, there's still time. Yes, Declan. Here are a few now, ideas. Rebecca and Jack, this is for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Is that right? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Not <Stay there. laughs> Joe's here shortly. We caught him taking a little selfie there. Love that. That's <laughs> busted. A bit... <laughs> you are so busted. 